Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, from the beautiful and world-famous Bottom Line Cafe in New York City. We're proud to present an evening with Bob Pat Goldthwaite. <laughs> I don't want to be 
road, but like, weren't the Iranians the bad guys a little while ago? <laughs> I guess somewhere, somewhere in our government, they said, let's see, like, who's the most crazy fucks we can give guns to? <laughs> Um, Manson's in jail. Um, so, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. I just spit it out. I'm so confused on what's going on. Like, there was all these guns, there was all these there was money. We had Israelis, we gave Israelis sold arms to the Iranians, right? And I'm not trying to be, I'm not trying to be a racist, but I, I, apparently there's like some kind of profit made by the Israelis, and, and uh, that sounds pretty odd to me. <laughs> <laughs> and I can tell you this much that I know somewhere right now, Nixon's like going, Fucking Teresa. <laughs> so I turn on the TV, you know, Bruce is kind of a cool guy, but I turn on the TV and he's going, Hi kids, don't take drugs, but um, if, if, like, if like you're gonna take them, why not wash it down with a wine cooler? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, Bruce. What, booze isn't a drug? Blow me. <laughs> he's just jealous of me because I got just a little bit more hair. Just a little bit. <laughs> so the Reagans now, so I'm, on, I, I'm not on drugs anymore. You say, no, but you seem so together. <laughs> the reason I am not on drugs, <laughs> like my parents aren't gonna see this. <laughs> Hi, Mom, I'm not, I never did take drugs. It's just some funny comedy material. <laughs> <laughs> I don't take drugs. And the reason I don't is not because like, okay, now I see all these commercials, all this fucking propaganda telling me not to take drugs. I didn't, I don't take drugs be, because I wasn't, I wanted to fucking die. I had to have booze in me. I had to have these things. I was gonna kill myself. No matter what I did, I couldn't get high anymore, you know? And, and I, I just wanted to die. That's why I don't take drugs. I wasn't like sitting at home with a big pile of cocaine and then I had a gun and I went, I'm gonna use one of these. 
And then I looked up on the TV, and there was Nancy Reagan. <laughs> and she said, just say no. <laughs> Silly fucking me. Ah, I'm going to call Keith Richards right now. <laughs> Keith, Keith, we don't have to be on drugs anymore. <laughs> Is David Crosby in near you? I guess Nancy was trying to give uh, uh, Betty Ford a run for her money, huh? <laughs> well, aren't I preaching now? No, oh, don't, 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 don't fucking, you know, one more lull tonight and I'll be a performance artist. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what that? Who was that performance artist who's a boy in New York City who castrated himself? Do you know him? Who are you him? That was an awful high woo. <laughs> Do you know who I'm talking about? The guy who castrated himself and then he took photographs of it? <laughs> and he had an art display? <laughs> I said, now there's someone who would be quite upset if Photomat lost this film. <laughs> Be like, you what? <laughs> no, I don't want another goddamn roll. <laughs> Something in a dick would be nice. <laughs> Hello, you standing up for my show? I'm originally from Syracuse, New York. <laughs> Why are you plotting? <laughs> you from there, or are you just glad that I don't live there anymore? <laughs> okay, who else is from there besides myself? I am. Okay, you? No, no, in the motion picture industry. <laughs> Who else? Tom Cruise, right? Tom Cruise from Syracuse. Tom Cruise, Richard Gere, myself. <laughs> Apparently there's something in the water <laughs> that drives chicks wild. <laughs> Oops, there's a little of my musk on you already, huh? <laughs> Great, we're right in the front. Oh, fuck. This pig sweats more than meatloaf. <laughs> Can we get the squeegee out here? Tom Cruise? I did that with my mind. I used to bag groceries in Syracuse. Did I ever, like, fondle your produce at all, really? I was a... And then I lost my job. No way, no, no way, wait, wait, I didn't, I didn't really lose my job. I mean, I mean, I know where my job is still. Just when I go there, there's this new guy doing it. And I don't even know his name. Animals are our friends. But they won't pick you up at the airport. When will Bob Hope die? Oh, you're getting funnier every year, Hope. <laughs> you're a timeless fucking classic. <laughs> He's like, oh, you know that reminds me? Lucy looks good. What is she, a thousand? <laughs> Lucy, looking good? A 75-year-old woman performing slapstick comedy. Is that funny to you? No, it's, just, it's just fucking dangerous. <laughs> Old people don't heal well. I'm watching Lucy on a ladder, and I'm going, get the fuck off that, that's not funny. What if you fall? <laughs> well, don't you worry about Lucy? It used to be, I love Lucy, and then it was the Lucy show, now I think it'd be, I'm really starting to fucking worry about Lucy. <laughs> Lucy's looking good, though, you know. You guys see in Bizarre magazine that Nancy Reagan was voted the 10th most beautiful woman, I'm not making this up, in America? What? <laughs> Bizarre Magazine, yeah. Bizarre Magazine, uh, need I say more? <laughs> I wonder where a totally fucking bullshit magazine rated her. <laughs> you know, not you're walking down the street, you know, and you'd like see Nancy Reagan, and if she wasn't the president's wife, you'd go. <laughs> Who's the fox? <laughs> you 
saw Nancy Reagan on the street, you go, <laughs> Hello. Uh, you got me? You got me? You got me? Okay. You're pretty light on your feet. This guy's pretty. Let's see, how fast can I move to lose you? <laughs> All right. Oh, more fucking weird light shit. <laughs> Didn't that scare you? Um. Get out, shot! <laughs> if I went and see this shit, I would have went to the Greyhound station. <laughs> I got thrown out of the Catholic Church for heckling. You suck, father! <laughs> Play kumbaya, dude! <laughs> People go, you really drink two to three six packs of tab a day? Well, why don't you have tab if you can't do a commercial? Yeah, like you're gonna see me on a fucking tab commercial. <laughs> I'm not making fun of the Pope or Christ. I like to drink tab. <laughs> I bet your sales are fucking skyrocketing now. I'm not quite sure. Why do we have that mirror up there? It looks like, it looks like, like a, a people aquarium. <laughs> it's, like, it's like a human produce section. Hi, how you doing? No, don't say a fucking order. You're gonna have to sign a rider. I'm gonna have to pay you four hundred dollars. <laughs> ah! Hello, how we doing? We have a laugh. You people really took the safety seats. Hi. <laughs> I'm gonna fucking bail. <laughs> Hello, I'd like to do a unique thing I call target vomiting right now. <laughs> by William Shakespeare and Dr. Seuss. Green eggs in Hamlet. <laughs> Hamlet, wouldst thou like green eggs and ham? I wouldst not like green eggs and ham. I wouldst not like them, Sam, I am. <laughs> ah, I saw in the news it said a Twinkie has so many chemicals in it that has a shelf life of 20 years. <laughs> Anyone else hear about that? Yeah. Yes? Yeah. I was like, I'd like one if you had a Twinkie that was 20 years and one day old, would you go, ah. <laughs> Does this taste funny to you? <laughs> I think it went bad a few hundred years ago. Hello. <laughs> now, you think it's like weird that these guys are following me around, but. You don't understand this. They do this everywhere, not like just tonight. <laughs> no matter where they go, he's always there. Hi. I'm getting really pissed off. <laughs> get away from me! <laughs> yeah, can we get more light in there? Let's make him completely blind. <laughs> Pardon me? You said something? That's my name. What's your name, random fuck? <laughs> it's like, people, you know, it's like people come up to me and they go, uh, you don't want to hear about my problem. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Can we get these any louder? <laughs> it sounds like you're watching, you know, that Disney animatronics thing? <laughs> no, we don't know. Make some more obscure references. <laughs> This is too weird. <laughs> How do I look? Do I look like, remember, we don't get fooled again? <laughs> you are so funny. This is kind of a funny story. I was doing a show. <laughs> and this guy goes, simply marvelous. So I made it for this funny joke. I took out a pair of scissors and I stabbed him in the head seven or eight times. <laughs> <laughs> and then I went out to the police station and they didn't even get the joke down there. I guess it's one of those jokes you had to see it again. <laughs> yeah, I'm a movie star. Just finished Police Academy 4. <laughs> Couldn't get the job on the Porky's movie. 
Oh, uh, I did Police Academy 2. Kind of forgivable. You can go, well, Police Academy 2, that was his first break. I can understand why I made that film. And then Police Academy 3, you go, well, um, you know, like maybe, um, I don't know, maybe um, his mom needed an operation. <laughs> Police Academy 4, I'm pretty much an out and out fucking whore. <laughs> Being in Police Academy boys like saying, yeah, okay, how much money? A little more, a little more. Yeah. Cause, cause like we had to make a Police Academy 4, there's so many unanswered questions from two and three. Yeah. Do you remember when you were a kid and you're in a bathtub and you'd make shampoo horns? <laughs> I gotta do that joke. I got about another week with it. <laughs> My hair is falling out in an alarming rate. I'm going bald and no shit. <laughs> I'm going bald and I find hairs in my mouth. They go through all the others in my head. <laughs> Mental floss. <laughs> ah! These are the same ingredients as a battery. <laughs> uh, like I said, I don't drink. I got done with a show. A woman came up to me. I was in Los Angeles. And a woman came up to me and she said, I really liked your act, you know. You're like, give me bedroom eyes. Like, yeah, right. <laughs> I really like your act. And, uh, she goes, you want to come over to my house and, and, and do some cocaine? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm the guy you want wired in your apartment. <laughs> It'd be like, ah! What do you mean you don't have any more pets? <laughs> this birdie's going to suck. So the Reagan administration cut back all the fucking funding that was going to drug rehabs. Then they come out and say, don't be on drugs. What the fuck? Am I supposed to detox at my parents' house? <laughs> I'm mom, dad, I'm home. I think I'm on fire and I got bugs in my eyes. <laughs> it's Bobby who says he's the devil. Move these lights. <laughs> Look at that one. Isn't that good? Who cares? Well, the comics suck, but excellent lights. <laughs> well spent money. Do I look like Phil Collins? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was a gift. <laughs> I think you're gonna stop taking the eyesight for granted, Mr. Goldway. <laughs> Normally, I come out in a comedy club and they go, maybe you saw this next performer at Police Academy? <laughs> and I walk out and they go, ah, I thought it was going to be the black guy who makes the funny noises. <laughs> Rolling Stone, are you here now? Fucking Rolling Stone, what the fuck Rolling Stone? It's such a fucking lame piece of fucking shit. You know, there was a time when Rolling Stone meant rebellion. Now it's like, oh, new CD ads. <laughs> new Seagram's ads. Fuck you, Rolling Stone. You can blow me. <laughs> oh, great. Oh. Oh. Jeez, just, ca I can't live. What is Huey Lewis doing? <laughs> if you saw Huey Lewis walking down the street, you wouldn't go, hey, is that America's leading rock star? No, you'd go, um, is that a friend of my dad's? <laughs> Someone said, Entertainment Tonight's here. That's People Magazine for people who are so fucking stupid they can't even read. <laughs> it's like, -da 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 -da. Ooh, Entertainment Tonight's on. I guess I won't need this. <laughs> Coming up next, Abe Vigoda paints. <laughs> My mother, I was coming home for Christmas last year, and um, it was pretty nice seeing mom and dad, and you know, I kind of.
refer to it as my sleigh ride to hell. <laughs> I'm saying that I love my mother very dearly, but you know, I'm eating dinner with my mother, and my mother says to me, Mrs. White Zork makes the most attractive Santa Claus styles out of empty ivory snow containers. <laughs> What are you talking about? I was on a radio show and this woman said, she calls up, she says, what's the difference between a hamster and a gerbil? And I said, hmm, I'm pretty sure there's more dark meat on a hamster. Yeah. You know, you can cook a hamster, you, need it. you just gotta know how to cook it. A lot of people want to rush it. It's an all day thing, you know? You... You can't put it in the microwave, it's a crock pot thing. <laughs> then my mother, my mother. Always oh, back to your mother, why don't you just work it out? <laughs> my mother used to take me out to purchase shoes. Did you ever have this experience with your mom? Buying new son, you know, school clothes? And your mom would go like, go on. You know, and you put on a new pair of shoes, and then she go, walk around. Um, walk around, let me feel. Where's your toes? Where are your toes? Where are your toes? Where you are? My toes are still at the end of my goddamn feet, lady. Where's your mind, lady? I grew up in, with my family. My brother was a deer hunter. It's a fucking ballsy sport, you know. What, you a deer hunter? You, you hunt deer? Is it a challenge? Yeah, because this, you know, this, uh, where is the challenge? They fucking like walk up to you and... <laughs> and then boom! Yeah. I'm a man. I shot a big dog. Fuck. It'd be more of a challenge in cat hunting. <laughs> Did you, so that when I was growing up, my brother, the deer hunter, the fearless deer hunter, I'd be like, around Christmas time, it's deer season now, around Christmas time, I'd be like eight, and I'd be like going, off the red nose reindeer, had a very shiny nose, and if you ever saw it, and then I'd open up the garage, and there's a fucking deer gutted, <laughs> hanging upside down with blood coming out of his fucking nose. Rudolph the Red Nose Reindeer. <laughs> ah! I'm gonna be working this shit out for the rest of my life. Nine hundred million dollars. I know I'm preaching, but fuck, I'm only gonna have this one shot and then I'm getting locked up, so. <laughs> Nine hundred million dollars in mandatory drug testing for federal employees. Um, how about mandatory drug testing for the people who fucking voted for him in the first place, huh? It's like, it's like, fuck the homeless. I gotta know if Walt the Postman is smoking a ging dope fucking joint on the weekend. I got, I got my own, I got, I got my own, like, I got my own campaign to get the fucking post office on drugs. Maybe my closing house sweepstakes will get here on time. <laughs> yeah, I am pretty much every parent's dream. <laughs> ah, is your daughter home? <laughs> I'll have her home early. In a bag. <laughs> oh, 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 like you never killed a date before. <laughs> In England. Every fucking year, 13 people die because of gun laws. Over there, guns are not like they are here. You know, you can't get a gun. So 13 people die every year from gun wounds. New York, on the other hand. <laughs> it's like, what is it, a couple hundred thousand people die every year from gun wounds? In New York alone, not England, New York. Now that either means that the people, the gun laws work, or British people really couldn't hit the broad side of a fucking barn. <laughs> yeah. Freeze! Ah! <laughs> they put new 
I'll just wait and tab. I guess some executive somewhere said, mm, can't we get one more chemical in there somewhere? <laughs> Let's make sure they never have any normal children. <laughs> People go, why do you drink so much tap? Well, um, well, it's like when I drink, see, if I drink a case of tap, all I'm gonna do is like burp and fart a lot, right? <laughs> case of Heineken, on the other hand, <sighs> I've never drank a case of tap and told a cop to blow me. <laughs> Budweiser has a different effect. <laughs> Why'd you blow me, fuck cop? <laughs> How many are uh, sad you missed partying with me? <laughs> the last time I drank, I drank for two and a half days and I took acid. I think it just went right on the bottle of beer. Mm, no, don't take with acid. <laughs> I ended up trying to hitchhike with no pants on. And the cops pulled up and they go, hey pal, where you going? Like, like suddenly we were pals. <laughs> I said, Bahamas. He said, we are too. So I got in the car. And you know that cage they have? I'm going, ah, I'm a monster. You guys are wicked nice for picking me up. You know, cop guy, you nice. Ah, cop goes, I think you're on some kind of drug. And when he said that, his face went, ah. And he said, I am not. But could you do that again? <laughs> that book, Holy Blood, Holy Grail, the author claimed that Jesus Christ had a brother and a sister. And I'm like, it was hard enough growing up in my family with my brother, who is the captain of the football team. <laughs> Could you imagine growing up having Jesus in your family? <laughs> It'd be like, why can't you be more like your brother? Because <laughs> he's the Messiah. <laughs> when your brother's home, we always have wine. <laughs> I went, I went, ah. scraper going <laughs> um when do I get to drive that plane <laughs> when you get done with the other side <laughs> Oh, yeah? Well, that dick is laughing all the way to the bank. 
What my mother didn't know was that Elvis was on so many drugs, he pretty much laughed everywhere he went. <laughs> I really don't think being at the bank had anything to do with it. <laughs> I think Elvis was, am I at the bank? <laughs> <laughs> I think, I think I just shit my pants. <laughs> I make fun of him, you know, because I'm in the most picture industry like Elvis, you know. <laughs> he made a lot of good movies, you know. <laughs> no, I make fun of him, then I go, fuck Elvis Presley. He didn't, you know, he didn't have to die. That man, that man was so rich, he didn't have to take drugs. He could have paid people to perform hallucinations for him. <laughs> Elvis could have been like, um, could you, thank you, could you put another midget in that blender? <laughs> How would you commit suicide? Come on. How would you commit suicide? Pills? Pills? That's kind of wimpy, don't you think? <laughs> what kind of pills? It might not even work. Like, what if someone, like, slipped you a Pez, you know? <laughs> Goodbye, cruel world. <laughs> <laughs> Waiting around for a few hours. Any minute now, you're gonna be pretty fucking sorry. <laughs> How else would you kill yourself? Pardon me? Heavy metal music? <laughs> like what? <laughs> oh, like, like y'all didn't know D. Snyder was here. <laughs> you know, you may have just done it, pal. <laughs> oh my God, you know, I just realized that like, um, <laughs> Like how Ozzy Osbourne got sued because he sang a song about suicide and I'm talking about suicide and I'm like, any of you guys kill yourself, I'm gonna get fucking sued. <laughs> oh no. I think we ought to nail this William Shakespeare guy for Romeo and Julia right now. We ought to get him right while we can. I was on a television show. No way, wait, wait, it wasn't a real television show. I went into a convenience store. <laughs> and there was just television cameras, so I did my act. <laughs> I got arrested. I didn't think it was gonna be this hot. December, oh, it's the lights. <laughs> just say no. Maybe that's how David Byrne got it. He was watching, He's watching Nancy Reagan. You may ask yourself, what the fuck is this? <laughs> Don't want to go to Sun City, thank you. <laughs> I, uh, I'm the Pope. Don't shoot. I used to get the scripts on the fucking police lobotomy set, right? And it would say like, you know, it'd say like, Bob Goldthwait. No, it's a Steve Gutenberg, and he'd have an unbelievable amount of lines where it's a Steve Gutenberg, and all these fucking lines, and I'd get down to the bottom of the page, and that would be my name, and it'd say, ah. <laughs> so I'd be, like, memorizing it. <laughs> ah. Between like, between Reagan and, 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 and Reverend Swagger, I mean, I don't even have to write any fucking jokes. It's like everyone's shitting on Reagan now, but where the fuck were they when they voted him in, you know? It's like, everyone's, well, everybody's gainfully employed. You know, Reagan's not that bad of a fuck. Yeah, people are fucking gainfully employed during wartime, too. You know what I'm talking about? No, I lost it. When people are like, oh, you know what we need nowadays? We need a good war because it's good for unemployment. War is good for unemployment? Yeah, that's because a dead guy can't flip a burger. <laughs> we have overcrowded prisons and no one, in the, anybody with any kind of, you know, brains. Well, now actually it's, it's like romantic to join the military. I stand to be corrected. 
for a while there, we couldn't get people to join the military, and my feelings was, well, if we have overcrowded prisons, why don't we just draft the fucking criminals? <laughs> These are the men with the experience. <laughs> I mean, I'd rather have Matson out there killing for me than some dick who couldn't get a job at Burger King. <laughs> you see, the swagger said E.T. is the devil. <laughs> yeah, and they said the crack epidemic is new. <sighs> Apparently, they've had crack in the Bible Belt for a while now. This guy says E.T. is the devil. <laughs> I'm taking you to hell with me now. <laughs> How is it? Fire. <laughs> Hello, welcome to hell. My name is Bobcat. I'll be your host. <laughs> Come back. Come back to hell. We have many things here in hell. Come back. Come back. <laughs> Do you really think? He said that all rock songs were written by the devil. Swaggart said all Rock songs, now, I can understand maybe if you twist your sister nervous. No, just fucking around, dude. <laughs> no, wait, wait, wait. Now, I know, I know. D called me up. He says, you want to be in my video? And I says, do you worship Satan? He says, no, that's crew, man. <laughs> so I did it. He doesn't worship the devil. We've had a few goat slangs at the house, but that's... <laughs> Who doesn't? Who doesn't? You know, oh, I suck, so we drink the blood of goats. Like, well, fuck you. <laughs> how many people here, uh, how many people tell me, you never drank goat's blood? Come on. <laughs> oh, you don't want to admit it. Do so you remember the first time you ever blew a chimp? Do you remember the look on his face? <laughs> yeah, me too. <laughs> I didn't blow a chimp, but I love the idea that for one minute you were going, God, did I miss something? <laughs> We're in hell? I don't think, I don't think, I don't think like my God and Fowl and Swaggart's God's the same God. Because I believe in a loving God. Like no matter how much I fuck up, he goes, come here. He's like Hugh Beaumont. Come here. <laughs> Why'd you fuck up? Come here, I love you. Don't fuck up. I don't believe a guy who says you're going to fucking burn in hell for jerking off. I don't believe a guy who says the devil writes rock songs. You, like, like, am I to believe that like, Beelzebub was in the fucking bowels of hell going, I need to write some new songs. I need some... <laughs> we are the world. <laughs> <laughs> he may have written a few Huey Lewis songs, don't get me wrong. <laughs> you know who's my hero, though? Remember Bonnie Clark? He passed on, God bless him. He's not a hero for the surgery thing. That was kind of cool. You know, he had the, the, the first Tayanka truck heart. The reason he's my hero is because, um, um, the reason is because Reagan called him up when he just had this new heart put in. Do you remember this? You know, and like, if you ever had major heart surgery, you want to be on, you know, the president calls you up, you go, ha, ah, you know. <laughs> Good thinking, Ron. You're so sensitive to other people's needs. So the guy's laying in his bed, just had a new heart, right? He's laying there. And all of a sudden they go, it's the president. And remember what he said? He didn't say hi or anything. He goes, are you the president? He goes, yeah. He goes, where's my social security? <laughs> Bonnie Clark. Pardon me? What are you saying? Seager? What is he saying? No. You, I know you hate him, but I mean, what is he saying? <laughs> He's saying so. Wait, wait, wait. God bless you. You know. <laughs> next time, like, you want to heckle, like, lean over to the guy next to you and go, "What if I say, shut up?" <laughs> and if he goes, <laughs> if he goes, mm, <laughs> keep your fucking mouth shut. <laughs> I don't want to put you down. That's like redundant. I think God already did it. God had the blueprints for you and said, mm, what about the brain? What do you think? Brain? Brain? No brain? Brain? No brain. No brain. No brain. Good luck. 
the birth of another Republican. I'm not, I'm not anything. I'm not Republican, I'm not Democratic, I don't give a fucking shit. If I really thought any of this shit could change the world, you know, I think we're all gonna blow up. I know we're gonna blow up. You ever read the Bible? It says we're gonna blow up. You ever read the newspaper? War, war, disease. Hmm. Nancy and Sluggo. I mean, you know. It's the end of the fucking world. I hope we all die tonight. <laughs> I hope we all die tonight. And like we meet God and God goes to him, how did you spend the last moments of your life? Um, I paid a man to make fun of you. <laughs> they go, oh yeah, I got a great seat here at the right hand. Come here, sit next to my boy. Jeez, move over. <laughs> Fucking world's gonna blow up. World's gonna blow up. There's gonna be a Martian a billion miles away. This like Martian guy's gonna be on his date. He's gonna be on like a date, and our flat Earth is just gonna be this little fucking flaming spear going wee wee. And this Martian's gonna see the Earth, and it's gonna go, Wee! and he'll be on a date, and he'll go, oh, look, hon, let's make a wish. That reminds me, Sylvester Stallone, I, what a fuckhead, you know? I, I'm like, I hate him so much. Now, now I don't mind it because he's a bad actor. I don't, I can forgive that. I like Rob Lowe almost, but I mean, it's like, it's like, Fuck him, because you know what? I was watching Rambo 2 on a plane. I didn't have a choice. I'm sitting there. There's women older than Lucy going, kill those fucking commies. <laughs> I'm going, Jesus, I'm going to break the glass and hang out on the wing for the rest of the plane. Yeah. <laughs> and I watched this film, and he goes, he said, see, he didn't go. Do you know this? He went to Sweden, right? Someone backed me up, didn't he? Yeah. He went to Sweden. He went to Sweden, then he makes a, war, a film about Vietnam. And in the fucking film, I don't care if he's a homo, I'd fucking like him more if he was. I, 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 I respect gay people more than, than guys who go, no, I'm not gay. Sylvester <laughs> Sloan, he's a homo. <laughs> You're right in line, pal. I'd like him if he was gay. Jesus. He makes these films where, like, America's number one. What was the fucking contest, you know? I see him, and there's, a, and there's like, he says, and he said in the Rambo movie that was on the plane, he goes, he's talking about going to Vietnam. Now, he taught girls' gym soccer in fucking Sweden during Vietnam. And he goes, are we going to win this time? What, what, the volleyball championships? <laughs> No, you're actually going this time, you fuck. <laughs> fuck him. What an insult to the Vietnam vets. Fuck him. My, my, I'm not as cool as you think. <laughs> the, the reason I say fuck him is because I want him to hit me, and I'll never have to work again in my life. <laughs> a, a day of work will be like going out to the mailbox going, hello, check. Gonna catch up on some Flintstones now. <laughs> and then he says in the movie, he says, you know, uh, oh, he says, he says, we're giving you the most powerful weapons known to mankind. And he goes, I thought the brain was the most powerful weapon. I'm going, well, you're going unarmed. <laughs> you know, and he was in a porno movie. I kind of respect that in a weird way, too. It was on the plane, too. <laughs> What was the name of that porno movie? Does anyone know the name? Party and Kitties and what? Studs. No, okay, Party and Kitties and Studs. And now everybody's going, you know, Sylvester Stallone, he's the new John Wayne. Mm, I don't recall the Duke showing us his ass. Yeah. Apparently that was edited from my version of True Grit. Well, uh, squeal like a pig. Yeah. Oh, let me see. I'm trying to think of something. Oh, I have a psychiatrist. You're saying no way. Well, yeah. 
My psychiatrist said, I think you have homicidal tendencies. I said, moi? <laughs> he said, what's the thing you hate very, very most of all of life? I said, um, doctor, I really can't stand large medical bills. <laughs> he said, that'll be 59 cents, please. <laughs> so I stabbed him in the head. <laughs> I'm gonna go home for Christmas, perhaps, and then I go home and they're gonna have a Christmas meal. You know what that means? It's like, all this game, pheasants and groundhogs, and they go, yeah, try weasel. It tastes just like chicken, tastes just like chicken. <laughs> you don't know what I'm talking about. Have you ever been over to someone's house and they want you to eat some kind of meat that you never would eat in a million years? And they go, they go yeah, try weasel, try squirrel. It tastes just like chicken, it tastes just like chicken. <laughs> Take that chicken, why don't you give me some fucking chicken? It's the cheapest fucking meat in the world. I'm looking for roommates. Well, I'm gonna begin with going off stage because I gotta pee like a fucker. I had a lot of fun tonight, and um, if you didn't like me, I don't, you know, I don't really give a shit, you know. <laughs> Later on tonight, you're probably gonna go somewhere, right? And people go, hey, what did you, what did you do tonight? And, and, and you said, well, I saw Bob Cote, a comedian, and they, uh, they go, oh, the loud guy? And you go, <laughs> and they go, how was he? And you go, well, he was kind of funny. But you know what he, do you know what he did? He, he, he fucked a hamster. <laughs> And they go, really? And you go, uh-huh. <laughs> and the next time you want to see me, it'll cost you around 40 bucks. <laughs> it'll be sold out in about a year in advance. It'll be like someone in the back going, do the hamster, dude. <laughs> Thank you for encouraging my behavior. Good night.